This is three of my Geophagus event Savinis. They are actually very beautiful. I wish I could have better lighting to show the natural color. As you can see, this is uh, better lighting. And this one kind of shows a little bit of its color, but these guys get kind of red during its prime. Here's the other last, the fourth one right there. So I got four of them in here. They're both paired up. I got two pairs, just can't seem to breed them because my tank is very busy. I got too much fish in there. It's kind of cool if you like community. Unfortunately, that's the case. If you want to breed fish, you can't breed them. So there's a total of four of them right there. You got one on my right and two that's showing. And then there's one that's in the between. You can see there's three there. And then that one that's over here. So I got a total of four. I'm going to try to keep these guys alive through the winter. I lost a lot of fish during the last winter. Hopefully this winter I can keep them alive. And next year, next spring, uh, breed these guys and get a bo uh, boatload of these uh, Savinis going on. I do like them when they're not breeding paired up. They do shift the sand. They'll siphon the sand up, spit them out. And it's a joy to watch them to do that. Unfortunately though, um, to keep geophagus, uh, you might want to keep a, a, a sump filter opposed to a canister because the canister will siphon a lot of sand up. So I have a 240 that is set up for a uh, sump this one is not I have a 180 that is actually set up for a sump too you know I think I'm I might do that I might move my um, all my or keep majority of my geophagus in my 180 move the Giardini into a 240 and then keep this guy as a breeder so I have I, right now at the moment I got a 240 or let's start from the low end 180 240 and a 300 they're pretty much all the, the same dimension 6 by 2 by 2 8 by 2 by 2 and then I got this one which is uh, the 300 which is 8 by 2 deep by two and a half tall ideally I wish the tank was the other way it would, it would be a lot nicer um, you kind of want uh, a little bit of more width opposed to uh, depth because uh, I, ultimately I want arowanas and 30 inches okay bigger is better but 30 inches will uh, suffice for a arowana for a, per a long period of time so yeah uh, it is what it is uh, I do enjoy this 300. There's quite a bit of scratch. It's not a show tank. It's not something I'm, I would brag about, but it is, I have it. This is super thick. This is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this, the acrylics are one inch thick. I'll measure this on another video, but I can almost say that it is a one inch thick. Thanks again for watching my video. This one's pretty bad, only because I wanted to capture all four of my Geophagus Savinis. Uh, it's hard to ever catch them because uh, two will be at one corner and the other two will be at the other corner. So, but to capture all four of them in one corner is a rarity. They, they, they do fight a lot. You can, as you can see, the, the fins on this one's a little bit uh, picked out the top fins. The tail is a little bit messed up as well. But yeah, this is super nice right here. If my camera would focus, and here comes the blue machine. This is my big, ah, couldn't capture that one, but that was my bigger blue machine. It's coming back. There you go. It has a really shine to it. Thanks again for watching my video. Hopefully I'll do some tankscape or whatever I do and kind of make my tank look a little bit better. Right now it looks like crap because I'm only just 
keeping them alive. I'm not in the position to do a lot of water changes because I'm living, uh, uh, my landlord's uh, not really thrilled about me wasting water. So they don't understand. People just don't understand when, um, when it comes to a fish hobby. It's something you enjoy and when you do water changes, it's a waste of water to them. Uh, so I just gotta find my own place soon. Well, thanks again. Uh, happy fish keeping.